Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be a community update for November 20th, where I go over the summoning event that just went live, talking about if you should be participating in it or saving your shards and kind of what the most optimal route is. And we're going to cover kind of the events and tournaments and a little update on the fusion and kind of just the general overview of what's going on in the game currently. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so today we had a summon event go live. And uh, I wish they would at least show you what the summoning event is going to be. Uh, we, we can never see it until it actually goes live. But okay, here we are. And this is the summoning event. Now, the uh, my phone's going off. Let me silence it. Okay. So the first thing that jumps out to me here is it's going to cost 4,000 points to get Snorting Thug. Um, that comes out, if we talk about Ancients, 200 Ancient Shards. So really not going to be worth going for snorting thug if it comes down to ancients in my opinion you're basically going to have to be using voids which you probably don't have any voids if you did the last event because there was a times two void event that literally just ended so i'm willing to bet that 99 percent of you don't really have any voids to pull sacreds <laughs> I mean, you could do it with like eight sacreds, but to pull that many sacreds for these rewards when they're not times two, I think is a, is a poor decision. So, um, honestly, I'm going to lean towards saying that you should not participate in this uh, summon rush. I don't think I'm going to. So, like, when we, so, Snorting Thug is part of the fusion for Brachus, and, um, even if you are going for the Brachus fusion, Snorting Thug is this one here. I would recommend fusing Snorting Thug, in instead of trying to summon a hundred Ancients and three Sacreds and some Voids, like, that's way too much of an investment. I, I would go for the, uh, fusion. So I would fuse in a snorting thug and, and and skip the summon rush. Um, yeah, I just uh, I'm a little bit disappointed. I I think either ancients should be worth like thirty or forty, uh, or this should be a cheaper event. Like it should cap out at three thousand. That would still be a lot. Four thousand is just obscene to get a champion for a fusion. Um, now if snorting thug was like a really good epic or if the fusion was for battle Kazar and not Brachus, then I could maybe justify it. But given the rewards that we're working towards and getting from the summon rush, my advice is to kind of save your stuff for the summon rush and, and wait for a better opportunity, either a better event or uh, like more incentive to pull your shards, like when they're times two or something. Alrighty, let's go over the other stuff going on. We've got a Dungeon Divers event coming. So it's going to be kind of a general loot diving event and uh generally my recommendation for these is if you're a newer to mid game player do your dungeon divers events in the uh campaign because then you can double dip between xp and dungeon divers uh artifacts that drop in the campaign count towards completing dungeon divers so i would double dip and get xp and also complete the event uh the champion training event is uh, going pretty well for me. I should have it done here in about two days is, is what I'm kind of thinking. So uh, I'm I, this event is tough, but I'm not super against it. It, it was tough, but it, it, it was fair for the most part. Uh, the, the summon rush, I think, is the worst one out of all of them. The arena assault one is probably the easiest one out of all of them. I've got four days left that I'm easily going to complete it, and I haven't even come close to like grinding the arena or anything. So this one was probably the easiest. And then uh, the champion training event was much tougher, but not as tough as the summon rush uh, in terms of like in-game value and currency that you would have to spend to complete it. In terms of tournaments, uh, the, the, the dragon tournament ended, the spider tournament's going on, and uh, the reward structure was okay. They did away with the five-star chicken, which I don't like. I, I wish the, uh, the reward up here was a five-star chicken. And... Uh, the rewards are a little lackluster to be honest um so i wouldn't have i would have probably recommended skipping this one if you weren't going for the fusion but uh i, I wanted to leave the door open to going for the fusion and i needed to grind the spider anyway so i went ahead and did it uh the fire knight tournament will be starting tomorrow and that is where you can get witness for the uh fusion so if you need to grind the fire knight we'll have to see how the rewards shake out and if it's worth doing or not but uh that'll be starting for tomorrow 
All right, let's pull up these offers and see what we got here. All right, special skill pack. We've gone over this a few times, but uh, some of you are kind of new, so I'll do it really quick because I never know if this is like your first video watching of mine. So we've got 99. I'll do it real quick here. And we've got epic, legendary, 3250. Wait, no, I'm off there. Okay, 3,000 gems. All right, so yeah, this comes out to basically a decent offer and something that's worth about 91. So I, I swear they used to have these be 3,300. I, I could swear they used to be 3,300 gems. And yeah, it, it comes out, that's about what it should be. I would say like 5 million silver and 3,500 gems would make it a little bit better um, in terms of something I could actually recommend. This makes me kind of neutral. Uh, the way they have it, I'm going to lean towards not recommending it. And then this one here, this is for like your newer to mid-game players, the one on the left probably. Um, we've got 1.5. 1500 and then nine rare and four uh yeah that one's actually worse this one's not very good I, I would definitely probably not recommend this one uh the one on the right's a little bit better but it's also more pricey and then this is the big offer this is the one that is uh going on currently and this is the one that i was kind of debating buying or not um but given the way the summoning rush was kind of constructed i'm going to lean towards probably not that's kind of my first guess here. Let's add one more zero. And 2150 and 41 ancients. Yeah, um, 8616 comes out to be... So this should either be more silver and more gems or more ancients. Honestly, it should just be 50 ancients. Like, let's just round it out. Yeah, that's, that's what it should be at least. Because then that would be something I, I would say, it's okay. But honestly, even if it was that, given the way the summoning rush was constructed and the fusion that it's involved in, I would probably lean towards not. So, so yeah, that is kind of going to be that. <laughs> and then the Conqueror pack. One thing I do want to touch on is I really hate that they're doing this thing with Conqueror packs where sometimes they are $10 and sometimes they are five. So you're gonna get like two versions of the Conqueror packs. I highly recommend not purchasing the $10 ones. The $5 ones are way better because uh, we're getting one Ancient Shard both times. And uh, so why not? Like if this were two Ancient Shards, I'd be okay with it. I'd be like, okay, that's fine. Um, but the fact that we double the price and we and we double everything except for the shard, which is arguably the most valuable part of it. Like, my theory is they're kind of testing to see if, if they'll sell an equal amount. Like, if people who buy the $5 pack will buy the $10 pack. And I want that answer to be no, so that I keep getting the good value. So I'm going to stay away from these and hope that that means I'll get more of the the uh the five dollar offers because if i'm gonna get one shard either way i would rather get the five dollar one the five dollar one is way better than this one and then as far as gear purchases for gambles this one's pretty good i typically don't recommend buying gear sets unless you're like a whale because it's pretty bad guaranteed value for new players obviously if you're like gearing out your first champion or something the gear uh the gear purchases can make sense but in terms of a, of a $20 gamble, it's usually not worth it. But this one's okay. I'm neutral on this one. The it, it, It's a full set of five-star legendary. So a pretty good set and pretty decent gamble value. It's not great. I'm not like recommending it as a good offer, but, but I'm neutral on it. Like it, it's an okay gamble. Alrighty. So yeah, that's going to kind of do it for this quick community update for November 20th. My kind of general sentiment is I, I'm disappointed with the uh, summoning rush. I was really hoping it would be better than this. If we're not going to have a times two, uh, you know, chance to go along with it, I was really hoping the rewards would be better and it would be a lot like I wish Snorting Thug would be over here, like at 2400 or something, and then put like a put like two legendary books here at the end or something, like flip flop it so that it would be a little bit easier to complete the fusion. But uh, 
but yeah, that's kind of my general take on that. Pretty disappointed with that, but we'll have to see how the uh, the other events shake out and stuff. So my general recommendation is to try to skip the summoning rush unless you are like really gun ho on doing the fusion and you don't want to fuse the uh, the rares because even if you're going for snorting thug which is the reward for the uh, summoning rush I, st I recommend going the fusion route on him so yeah that kind of covers all of that let me know what you think down in the comments and as always have a good rest of your day peace